Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, we're going to talk about bits. Well, 32 bits and 64 bits. What does it mean? Well, if you're using a Windows computer, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 come in a couple of different flavors. There's Home Premium, there's uh, Pro, there's Enterprise, there's things like that. But there's also a different flavor even above those. It's the bit size. 32-bit operating systems as opposed to 64-bit operating systems. Now, all the modern processors, the ones that came out within the last three or four years, are all 64-bit processors. The Intel i3, i5, i7, the AMD processors are all 64-bit. They're all multiple core, <clears throat> which means they have many, a couple of different processors inside the single chip. Now, a 32-bit processor can process 32 bits of information at a time. A 64-bit processor can process twice as much. The operating system that you install also has to follow that. So if you have a 64-bit processor, but you install a 32-bit operating system, you can only do half as much as the processor is capable of doing. It will work. It will seem fine. It will run fast enough. But certain software won't run because you'll need 64-bit software on a 64-bit processor. But if you're running only a 32-bit operating system, you're really crippling your processor. Now, for example, Adobe has their Creative Suite, which is a subscription service, and you can run all of their software. Adobe Premiere, which is their video editing software, is a 64-bit software. 64 bits is what is required, so you need a 64-bit operating system. So if you're running Windows, I don't know, Pro, Windows 7 Pro, and you're running the 32-bit version, and you go to run Adobe Premiere, it won't work. You need to reinstall your operating system to a 64-bit operating system. Well, how do you do that? Well, you have to buy it. You have to buy the operating system at a 64-bit version. Then you have to reinstall the operating system on your computer, which means also you're going to, have to reinstall all your applications. So you want to make sure you back up all your data onto another drive so you have all your documents, all your tax records, all your photographs, all your music, so you don't lose it. Because when you reinstall the operating system, you could lose all that information. Then you purchase your Windows or whatever version you want, 7, 8, 8, 1, whatever, in a 64-bit edition. Run through the install, usually very simple. It takes about, I don't know, half an hour to an hour, depending on your processor speed. Then you'll have a 64-bit operating system. Then you reinstall all of your applications that you like to use. You may now decide you want you know, more faster applications too, maybe a 64-bit Office or 64-bit whatever that you're using, as opposed to the 32-bit you have been using. But you don't need to do that. A 64-bit operating system can also run 32-bit software. So once you've reinstalled your applications, you can take the information you copied to that outside disk, that backup, and restore that, or copy it back, whichever is easier for you. Now, at this point, you'll be able to run any 64-bit operating system, plus your system will be able to use um, more memory. So if you had like an eight gig memory, but you were running a 32-bit operating system, you may not have been taking advantage of all of that memory. Now you will. So your system will appear to be faster because it will actually be faster. You'll be using more memory and more throughput. So if you have a 32-bit operating system, consider installing a 64-bit. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV and Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Have a great day.